Hey y'all, I hope you guys are doing well today. It is a good exciting day for me because I have a box, a box. <laughs> I have a new handbag unboxing for you guys. Actually, I think I put the unboxing towards the beginning of the video, a little aesthetic, I think ASMR type unboxing for you guys. So you already know what bag I am going to present to you guys. It is this beautiful Coach Parker bag in the Sakura T Rose print that was exclusively released in Japan. And this bag is absolutely stunning. Before we get started with this video, I do have a few housekeeping things that I want to go over. Hi, hello, my name is Moni. If you've never met me before, I love talking about all things luxury and handbags. I'm a very eccentric person, very monotone, but very eccentric person. So I love things that kind of stick out like this. And so you'll see a lot of that over here. I am working to grow my channel to a thousand subscribers right now. So if you'd be so kind to hit that subscribe button and a follow, I would be very appreciative of that. We are also doing a giveaway when we hit the 1K mark. You will have the chance to win one of these two sets of the nail file and dual mirrors that were released with the Chanel color code um, release that they had in early in July that flew out. Most of these colors were sold or can be sold in boutiques, but I know a lot of you guys can't get to boutiques. So I wanted to gift them to you guys for help supporting me for what I want to do. The last housekeeping thing I want to do is I do make planners. I have this beautiful freebie that I have for those who follow my newsletter. Um, you get this beautiful, beautiful freebie. The freebie of the month is this housekeeping planner, which I just, I love. I have a full version of this, which is also 30 pages available for sale as well for print out or digital use. Um, but this is a freebie. It comes in multiple different sizes. You can download it as well as a digital copy of it. All you need to do to get the free version of it is hit the link down below to take you straight to the July freebie page where you can sign up for the newsletter and receive it. Lastly, I want to say that this video is heavily inspired by Dazzle Me 77. She does a lot of bag, handbag videos here on YouTube. This video is actually inspired by her in two ways. I had recently saw a short that she did about her purse organization, so I just had to create another planner. <laughs> I love creating planners. I created another planner where you can actually track your bag usage. This again is a free planner that you girls can get here who love just tracking the data of how much you're using your bags, the cost per wear that you're getting out of them within a certain period of time. All that stuff is available in this planner to you guys for free. I'll have the link for download for this planner. I was just so inspired by tracking this information because I've always wanted to track it, but I've never just kind of sat down and created a planner for it. So seeing her short made me want to create a planner for it. And then I also saw the video she did, <clears throat> I want to say about two or so months ago, maybe four months ago. Um, but I recently saw the video of her beautiful rogue bag that she had purchased with the tea 
rose applique all over it and it just convinced me that I need to get a rogue with the tea rose applique. So I was actually looking for that bag or researching that bag because as I have said in previous videos, your girl is back in school. I am currently taking my real estate coursework. I am getting my real estate license to be a property manager. Um, I can do most of this from home, which will continue or allow me to continue to be with my babies. Um, but I'm also getting um, a new certification in digital marketing as well as property managing through Cornell. So your girl is back in school and I was looking for this could be about two years to get all my certifications. And so I was, I'm pre-planning cause that's what I do, right? Um, I was thinking I wanted the rogue with the T rose applique as kind of my accomplishment bag because it, it just feels like me. It's such a beautiful bag with all these beautiful flowers on it. And that's how I was actually introduced to her channel. She had this beautiful bag in pink. She said she has since returned it or I think sold it on um, because she really wanted the black one and she didn't like how small the 25 was. But I think the 25 is going to be a perfect size for me. Um, but seeing her video just put this just tea rose applique in my mind and I couldn't get it out of my mind. So I do want to save the rogue one for when I am finished with all of my schooling and new certifications and whatnot. But I needed something to scratch that itch after I saw her video. She did two of them. So I was looking to see, you know, what they had available with the appliques because they have different appliques. They have butterfly ones too. Um, they have different, uh, like I think they have like one other type of floral one. And I've actually bought a couple of their um, uh, T Rose applique key change, which are really, really beautiful as well. I have one on my Speedy right now. They're really, really pretty. Um, but I came across this Parker bag and immediately, yes, immediately, immediately, yes. So I actually found this from a reseller in Japan. Like I said, this was a Japanese exclusive. I feel like Japan gets some of the best exclusives from Coach. And I'm like, why? You are an American brand. Why don't we get things this gorgeous? But it's in this beautiful Sakura pink with these appliques in different shades of beige and pink and whatnot. Um, you have a lot of gunmetal hardware here, rivets that say Coach on them. Um, and then you have like this gunmetal pearl and this turquoise little pearl right over here. You have two gunmetal pearls, a little pink um, pearl here, a glass pearl and a turquoise one over there with this smooth cast skin leather. You then have this dark burgundy glazing here. It's a very thick glazing here. You have this darker pink hang tag that they have over here. Um, gun metal on the chains here with this darker uh, calfskin leather running through on the chain. It is a shoulder bag. So you have four rivets here. This is very, very similar to a classic Chanel flap, even the fact that it is a half flap, but you have four rivets, two in the front, two in the back, that these um, handle straps run through, that the straps rather run through. You have a pocket in the back that is lined with uh, microfiber back here. It's a nice pocket. I, you guys know I love, love, love a back pocket. You have the beautiful T Rose little lock right here to open up to reveal one pocket in the front. This beautiful, beautiful, it's coming up very red, but it's more of like a burgundy, a maroon color of those microfiber right here. You have a slip pocket in the back. You didn't have this PU um, story tag 
on this back pocket right here. One zipper compartment in the middle. Now the zipper compartment does not go all the way down much like the Neo Noe from Louis Vuitton. So things can roll in between. Um, and this pocket just basically divides a large cavity here in the front. The whole thing is lined in this microfiber, except for this pocket right here, which is just a regular cloth. This pocket's not really a big pocket either. You can slip a phone in there, some receipts, cash, um, some cards, you know, um, but it's not like it's a big pocket. It's fairly thin. I would say thin like the um, never full pouch. Um, I would think about it that way. Um, and it really just divides this larger cavity that you have right here. Um, this front pocket here is also lined. The back has the calfskin leather and then the inside of the pocket right here is the microfiber. This bag is very, very similar to the Chanel Classic Flap. It's very reminiscent of the Chanel Classic Flap to me. This is my chocolate bar in the medium size. It's very comparable to the Chanel Medium. And so you can see here, the height is a lot smaller, but when you are looking at, and the, the length is shorter here as well. So size-wise rather, you're getting something that's going to be fairly close to the Chanel medium flap. However, dimension wise, when you're actually looking at the full space of the bag, this is going to be fairly similar to the jumbo. I would say that this insert right here though, is taking up quite a bit of space. However, I'm thinking about if you get the jumbo with the double flap, you honestly might be looking at close to the same amount of space because that double flap does take a lot of space as well. I have the jumbo, but the single flap and it's a seasonal one, so it's a little bit larger, so I have a lot more space in mine. Um, but with the classic jumbo, this might actually be fairly comparable. Now, to me, this is a lot prettier than the jumbo. This is like just such an art piece. I love bags that are art statements like this. Like I said, I have my eye on the Rogue. Uh, the Rogue has applique all over. I feel like this is just enough applique to be used as a daily bag with like not a lot of problems. Um, this is a smooth calf skin. I am looking at the back here though and where this bag sits, it can see the leather is starting to naturally sag a little bit. This is something that I kind of expect to see. Um, I don't know when this bag came out. However, this bag hasn't been used, but it has been sitting. And so sometimes when bags sit without a lot of structure for them, you know, you start to see some wear points. And so I'm definitely seeing wear points from just like sitting right here along the crease. And you're gonna start seeing even more as you are opening and closing the bag as well. This is something natural with bags, so it doesn't bother me, but it bothers some people. Um, now I'm the type of person, again, I buy my bags with the full intention of keeping them. I've only sold a couple of bags just because they weren't really working for me, but I don't really buy my bags with the intention of selling them. Um, I do not plan on releasing this from my collection. So again, that's, it doesn't bother me, but if you're the type of person who's gonna be bothered by that, um, I don't know what to tell you because that is a stress point from lifting it up, but you can make sure that you stuff this bag correctly while it's sitting to help, you know, help save that off a little bit, but this is something that's naturally going to happen. Okay, so before I get off here, I want to see what fits in this bag. I'll go ahead and put an insert here, but I already tried putting my school agenda in here and it fits just fine in the back pocket, though it does take up a lot of space. So I want to see with my daily essentials, what can actually fit in here and what it's actually gonna look like. So I have the bag that I'm in now, which is the mini Lulu, this camera bag. I love this bag so much. This is such a, a useful bag. I know people aren't as into this bag anymore, and I know a lot of people aren't into the Parker anymore either, but I've never been one to follow trends. I follow my heart when it comes to handbags. This handbag fits 
a literal ton, by the way. It reminds me a lot of the fanny pack that Lululemon has, just the fancier version. So I have all this stuff in here and we're just going to set this bag right here, I think on my side. And we're going to transfer what's in this bag into um, this Parker right here. I think I'll just set it right here. That makes a lot more sense. So the first thing I have right here is my Chanel Lip Duo. This is not the one that I'm wearing, but I love the Chanel Lip Duo. I talk about this all the time. It is my go-to. So I'm going to set that down in the front. Next is the, is it born in Roma or made in Roma? I can't read that because I have the worst eyesight. I'll put the link down for all these things down below as well. But if you are not trying to attract somebody else's man, if you're not trying to attract your man or woman or person, doesn't matter if you're not trying to attract people, do not wear this one. I actually do not personally like the scent of this one, but without fail, Every time I wear this scent, I have at least two people come up to me and they ask me, what am I wearing? Like they can smell it from across the room and it instantly draws people, draws, <laughs> draws people in it to you. Um, so this is a scent that most people really love. So I'm just going to put that toward the front pocket as well. Next, I have a hand cream here from Bath and Body Works. This is Midnight Peony. I had stocked up on this. I wish I had bought more. I love, 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 love this scent. Um, but I just wanted an extra, extra lotion. So um, I put that right there. Next, I have a pack of Benadryl. I'm bad about carrying my EpiPen in my main purse, but I do have my EpiPen and my children's EpiPens in our diaper bag. But in a main bag, I generally will carry like a boatload of Benadryl in case I can't get to my children's bag. I can have some antihistamine all right on hand to get things started. So I'll put that there. This is my pill bottle. It has Aleve and Tylenol in it. So I'm going to put that towards the front as well. And none of the stuff right now is organized, um, but I'm just seeing what fits in there. So this is my card case from Louis Vuitton. This is the one that I gravitate towards the most. It has these beautiful like rivets on it. I am going to go ahead and I think actually slip that in this middle container or this middle compartment right here. Next, I have my cigarette pouch. I have shown this to you guys in a lot of videos. I just use it to carry tissues. I have a lot of nosebleeds now. And so um, I like to have nice tissues on me at all time. And I'm sitting that in this center compartment as well. After that, I have my key pouch from Louis Vuitton. I've had this one for years on the side. I have my camper keys. I think I'm gonna try to put this in the center as well. Yeah, so that all fits very neatly in the center compartment right there. So I have my cigarette case, I have my key pouch, and I also have my card case all right there in the center pouch. In the back, I'm going to put my Chanel mirror. You guys can win the one of these in either the Ovan, Ovan yellow or the Diva pink, but I got the ballerine pink for myself and it matches this bag so prettily. I am going to go ahead and put that in the slip pocket. Will it fit in? Yeah, it will put in the slip pocket in the back, but okay, there we go. Yeah, it fits. It was just on the care card. So let me move that care card and put that back there a little bit more neatly. Next, I have my Noshinko hand sanitizer. I love how thin that is. I'm gonna also slip that back there. It's nice and neat. Next, I have my breast strips from the Dollar Tree. I can't find like the uh, Listerine ones anymore. I like these because as much as I brush my teeth, I still have like a weird thing whenever I eat in my mouth. And so this just helps my mouth feel refreshed. I think I am going to put this towards the front. Next are my eye drops. Always have to have eye drops with me. Again, I think I'm going to put this towards the front. Then I have just a Fenty lip balm. Uh, this one is in the color Cheeky. I really like this one and I like how they taste and I like how they smell too. Pop that towards the front. Last thing I have in the YSL Toy Lulu 
is this little hand lotion from Chanel. I love it when they come out with the samples of these. I think this is the perfect size for a handbag. So the egg one should fit in here quite well. So basically I have my beauty and medicine items in the front right here. I have my SLGs in this middle compartment and I don't have anything in this back compartment right here. So I have my Kirigami pouch right now. It's currently empty. I took out all the stuff that I currently hold in there, but I'll show a little insert of like everything that I keep in there. And we're going to see if this will fit in the back. And it does. It takes up a little bit of room or quite a bit of room actually in this back compartment here. I, yeah, it takes quite a bit of room in that back compartment there, but it fits in the back compartment. Next, I have my mini Kirigami set, which I use to kind of hold, again, it's empty because it's in storage, right? But I use it generally when I use it with my bigger bags to put my cards and my AirPods in there. I think I'm gonna drop that in the front and that fits perfectly in the front. You guys can't see it, but I'll try to do an overlay so that you guys can actually see things a bit better here. I wonder if like, so this is my coach umbrella. I just got it with the cherries. I wonder if I put this towards the back, if I can put my, the umbrella technically fits, but it like stretches out. So I don't think I'd carry the umbrella in there. I'm going to put this back in here. Actually, I think I'm going to try to put that in the back. The last thing I think I want to put in there is my agenda, my trusty agenda. This literally goes everywhere with me. Uh, it does fit in the toy Lulu, but I had a lot of other things I wanted to carry. So I literally just carry this on the crook of my arm. It goes everywhere with me. And that actually slipped very nicely in the front there. So let's see if she closes. Absolutely, with no problem. It doesn't feel too heavy on my shoulder either so i really really love how it's feeling um, with this amount of stuff in there so you can get a fair amount in here you can see the bag isn't bulging at all you can tell that's a little bit full in the back i'm seeing a little dimpling right there and i wonder if that is from stress or if that's just how the bag naturally is mm. Okay, that dimpling is actually coming from the items I put in the back pocket. So let me move the hand sanitizer to the front here. I'm gonna move the mirror to this back compartment. There we go. Okay, so we're not getting the same stress on the back anymore now that we have moved it and again it's not bulging on any other size so this bag fits quite a lot and it's all fairly organized too i do feel that i would want to organize like my makeup items a little bit better in this bag i probably actually would since i tend to use my um kirigami case for like Whole bunch of like just random items i'll probably use this case that i got from valentino to better organize my makeup so and i have like things like you know deodorant and stuff like that in here too um, but to better organize my makeup so that it's a lot more easier to access instead of just being at the bottom of the bag kind of floating around because they're the bottom is open as well right so it's probably a little bit better to do it that way but overall this bag fits a lot. I feel like it fits more than the jumbo would. I can fit a full size planner in here, like I said, but at that point you are sacrificing a lot of space. So you might be able to only carry like a couple pins and a, you know, card, but if you're just going to work out of your agenda, uh, you know, that is absolutely fine. But this bag is so beautiful. I can't wait to use her and see how she holds up. I will probably do a video later on if you guys are interested in how I actually pack this bag and organize this bag and what's actually in this bag when I take her out to use her. I am starting to go back into like office and coffee spaces to work and whatnot. So I will show you guys how I use this um, when I go out to work. But for now, that is it for the video. If you have any questions on the Parker, I know the Parker is not 
as interesting the bag and coach really they only have like the upcycled parkers available right now they're not selling other than other than the upcycled ones any parkers on their site but there are a lot on the resale market this was such a popular bag for a long time and i understand why it's a very very good dupe for the chanel classic flap and they had some really beautiful designs if you have any questions about the parker please let me know and i'll do my best to answer them with that i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and night whatever time it is you're watching this and i'll see you next time bye